Uh, what's up guys welcome back to Chris Wong vlogs oh I should have brought my sunglasses out today it's uh, very very bright in Sitka Alaska yes we are back here in the same town this is the port where I went to see the bears but unfortunately don't really have any time to go outside today because well I've just finished up the crew drill right now and it's a bit later on in the day now uh, yeah, this morning was my least favorite uh, type of crew drill to do it was the evacuation into a lifeboat simulation and basically a whole bunch of us crew members I think there was 300 of us today had to put the life jackets on and we had to get, like fit 150 of us into a lifeboat and this is a like I said it's a simulation of what would happen if there was ever a real evacuation emergency on board the ship and let me tell you it's um, you know although the lifeboats are designed to hold 150 people when you're actually sitting there with your life jackets on and the boat is full yeah, I won't lie it's not the most pleasant experience but nonetheless it does give us crew members an idea of what it's like to actually go through the process of actually abandoning the ship and going into a lifeboat if a real emergency was ever to occur uh, yeah like I'm loving the weather right now this morning when we were doing the drill it was raining but I've just come up now and the Sun has decided to surface here in Sitka let's have a look at how the port is looking yeah it's very nice actually it doesn't actually look too busy if I really wanted to I suppose I could run out real quick normally this port is quite busy because everyone starts lining up for the shuttle bus but yeah seems a bit more manageable today so I'm not actually able to film any of the crew drill I know some of you in the comment section have asked me to try and film some parts of my crew drill to put on my channel but we're supposed to treat it like a real emergency so obviously if the ship was about to you know go down or if it's on fire I'm not going to be vlogging or trying to document myself so I do have to treat it like a real general emergency and carry out my crew duties as if it was a real life emergency so unfortunately I cannot film any of my crew drills um, but other than that to be honest yeah I, th I feel like I don't know recently I've just felt a little tired and a little little run down almost the last I've been docked in Seattle now for my home port for the last three weeks and I've actually I haven't even chose to go out for example yeah it's strange I don't even know why just sometimes I just feel so tired that I, just, I think it's what happens when you work on a ship I'm five months into my contract now and when you work every single day no matter how healthy you are or how you know how your fitness level is you know five months working every day on board the ship and the long grueling hours that we do yeah my body just feels tired from time to time and you know unfortunately I do have to accept the fact that I am that I am slowly getting older now I mean I know generally I'm still young but you know I was in my early 20s when I first started working on ships now I'm in, in my 30s so I think this is all just slowly taking a toll on my body at this point but yeah I mean yeah the last three weeks in Seattle I haven't really got off the ship today in Sitka yeah I don't think I'm gonna go outside either I think I'm just gonna go to the gym so yeah Chris Wong's just feeling a little tired and a little run down right now but I think it's just like I said it's just a natural course of working on board the ship for such a long time your body just naturally feels tired no matter how much rest of you know how my fitness level is doing but other than that uh, Skagway is tomorrow and then Juno again I do think I am gonna make the effort to go outside tomorrow and yeah very soon I, I will have to make my decision as to what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna stay for this crossing to Australia or if I'm gonna make it home to my friend's wedding the day for me to decide is coming sooner rather than later uh, if I do decide to go home it does mean I will have one more month on board the ship and that will take it to the end of the Alaska season as well I can't believe the end of Alaska season is is coming up it feels like I've just come on board the ship and now all of a sudden I'm five months in and I have essentially one month left in Alaska it's 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 a weird thing how fast time has gone all of a sudden the pandemic slowed down everything but then since the cruise ship restart last year I feel like my life has just been you know, it's just been going again but it is quite a strange feeling looking at uh, Sitka today for example or just looking at the view from the ship right now I'm here in Alaska and 
in a month's time I'm potentially going to be back home in England trying to figure out what to do with my life. It's a very, yeah, like I said, it's a very surreal kind of strange moment in my life right now. Just trying to figure out what the next move is for Chris Wong. I know a lot of you would love for me just to, you know, continue doing contracts, being a crew member, just vlogging my life. But yeah, I, I don't know how much longer I can realistically keep this up for. Like trying to keep up a YouTube channel and a vlog whilst you're working on a, on a ship it's hard for me to explain but yeah it's it's not that easy for me to do really I, I know it just looks like I'm just filming and then just posting videos on YouTube but I cannot tell you how time-consuming just the whole process is of making videos trying to document everything that I do and then obviously I'm doing all of this in my free time and then I have to go to work after and dedicate everything to you know all of the guests on board it's um, it's definitely not a lifestyle I can keep doing forever, especially, like I said, as I am slowly getting older. So yeah, very strange sort of surreal moment I'm having right now. I'm just sort of looking out at the view, hoping the answers are out there somewhere. All right, welcome back to Skagway once again, ladies and gentlemen. So the crew tour that was cancelled last week has now been rescheduled for this week. Crew members are in full force. Look at this, 35 of us, I think. And we're 42 of us making our way, oh, almost walking to that. Making our way to the train. Oh man, it started raining heavily. Let's go. <laughs> yes, with the crew. Woo! Where's our special carriage? <laughs> all right, all right. We made it. It just started raining. Private carriage for all the crew. Let's see, everyone's behind me. <laughs> okay. Katarina wants to sit at the front, so we're sitting at the front. All right, let's check out the view. We are right at the front. Look at this. Woo. All right. Fernando. 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 Hey. Come, come with us. <laughs> oh wow, look at this review. We've come so high, it looks like we're going into the clouds. Look at that. The, the clouds are literally right here. It's like we're going in it. This is so cool. All right, tunnel's coming up. All right, here we go. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Oh, it's a tunnel, it's coming, it's coming. Ashke! Oh, it's coming, right? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah! yeah. Woo! Yo, look at this, how yeah, scary. Huh? Yeah, it looks scary, yeah, huh? Man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, we're completely covered in the cloud and the fog now. Yeah, man. Different vibe compared to when I was here last week. So up here, you can actually see the US and Canada flag. So we are on the border as we speak. And now we are heading back to Skagway. 90 minutes back down to the bottom. We do it all over again. There's these flags here too, which I can't remember what she said. One of these is the Alaska flag. But, yeah, but these flags do symbolize the international border. Katarina, how was your experience on the train? Good. You had a good Amazing. time? I love it. Look at your hair. What happened to your hair? <laughs> all right, Levi, how are you doing? Yeah, mate, I'm good. And you? Are you cold? It's not, it's, it's not like this in South Africa, no? 
used to the hot weather, not this. It's not for me. <laughs> Ashkay, why are you wearing t-shirt and flip-flops? We're in Alaska. I know because my body's hot. Your body's hot. I'm a hot guy. <laughs> now it's time to eat. We made it to the top. So now it's time to eat our snacks because there's no food on the on the train. The protein bars go a long way. Alright, just enjoying the view before we make it down to the bottom. Wow, look at this. Amazing. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Fellow, fellow white bus train goers. Train tour once again a huge success. And the good thing about uh, good thing about this train is it literally dropped us off right in the middle of the town. So a few of us are just gonna have a little walk around now before we have to head back to the ship. But yeah, the sun has decided to come out now, very nice. But once again the white pass and Yukon route. Amazing, amazing tour. Once again guys, welcome back to Victoria, Canada. I have just got off the ship. Once again, I am docked next to Celebrity Solstice. And today for me, walking into town is gonna be, oh, I hope you can still see me. The sunlight's not doing good for me right now. Um, today's a massive YouTube upload day for me. So a lot of my, <laughs> a lot of the questions I get asked is how am I able to post as frequently as I do on YouTube with the cruise ship internet? Well, the reality is, is that I'm not using the cruise ship internet. I'm actually going out into port on my days off work, on my time off work, I should say. And then I look for a Starbucks or something to use the Wi-Fi and I upload my videos ahead of time and schedule all of my posts. And that is how I upload all my YouTube videos. So I have literally just left the ship. I'm gonna make my way into town now. If there's no line for the shuttle bus, I will take the shuttle. Otherwise, I will do the 15 minute walk to Starbucks and start uploading all of my upcoming videos. Ugh. All right, so the line does look a little long. All right, screw it. Chris Wong, just walk into town. Get your daily step count in. So the cool thing about being docked in the same place every week is that over time I really do just get to learn where all the roads are and the streets and I get to find all the cool places. Like look at this behind me, it's a flower arrangement that says Victoria written in words format. Very very cool. And right now I'm just enjoying a view of the waterfront as I make my way into the town. I really do look forward to this port every single week. People think that I'll get uh, bored of seeing the same places all the time. But no, really, I love discovering like new places to walk and cool things to find. This is my first time walking along uh, this part of the waterfront. So I'm just taking it all in right now, enjoying the weather. All right, so here's the reality of the situation. I've made my way to Starbucks. I've got my little station set up here. Coffee's on the go. And my latest video is uploading as we speak. And this is how Chris Wong uploads his YouTube videos. Well, the Wi-Fi in Starbucks is absolutely incredible. And I hope when Starlink gets implemented on all of our Royal Caribbean ships that the Wi-Fi is that fast. Seriously, four minutes to upload my YouTube video on the ship, that would have taken me two hours with the crew Wi-Fi, of course, but I don't even think it'll be that much quicker with the guest Wi-Fi. All right, time to head back to the ship. I have about, let me see, one hour till crew all on board time. All right guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. That concludes yet again 
another week in my life what working on a cruise ship is like as an active Royal Caribbean crew member. I'm just enjoying the sunset right now before I head back on board the ship. I do have to go back into work tonight so I do have a little bit of time to rest now and on that note I'm going to end this vlog right here. So the usual comment like and subscribe if you enjoyed do me a favor smash the thumbs up button and I will see you in my next cruise ship video. I've been Chris Wong. Bon voyage for now. I mean, just look at this for a view. The sunset, the cruise ship, standing directly underneath the hull of Ovation of the Seas. You know, views like this really just makes me appreciate my life right now.